Welcome back. Well, as you make preparations for Halloween, be sure to check yourself before you wreck yourself and make sure that you are not being racist. Welcome to Tyranny Watch. I'm Gigi Arnetta. This Halloween, the government wants to continue stampeding on your rights. In the spirit of crushing your freedom of expression, our educational institutions want to make sure that you don't offend anyone. Is your Halloween costume racist? University students have been told not to wear offensive Halloween costumes, including Indians, cowboys, and anything involving a sombrero. Christina Gonzalez wrote, making the choice to dress up as someone from another culture, either with the intention of being humorous or without the intention of being disrespectful, can lead to inaccurate and hurtful portrayals of other people's cultures. So what are you supposed to do if you are one of these things? Are you supposed to carry around an ID that says, hey, I'm a cowboy, or hey, I'm Mexican? And when does it stop? For your safety, of course, the government is threatening you into not buying colored contact lenses this year for your Halloween costumes. Officials from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Office of Criminal Investigations, along with the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Homeland Security Investigations and U.S. Custom and Border Protection, are currently in the midst of Operation Double Vision a mission aimed at seizing counterfeit or illegal imported lenses not approved by the FDA. No one should buy contact lenses from Halloween or novelty shops, salons, beauty supply stores, or online without a prescription. So why is DHS, ICE, Border Patrol all interested in your eyeballs? I mean, there's bigger, scarier things to deal with, like that health care law. Or what about the ever-so-criminal IRS? Maybe it's because they can't get a clear scan on your iris from their eavesdropping cameras that are all over the place. Sign up for prisonplanet.tv today and give your username and password up to 10 people. I'm G. Giranetta with Tyranny Watch on the InfoWars Nightly News. Welcome back. All week we've been showing you clips from the open carry rally that took place at the Alamo in San Antonio this last weekend. Well, today's video, it'll have excerpts of some of the speeches as well as the rally, but it also shows you what happens to your First and Second Amendment when your time to protest is up. All right, thanks for coming out to the 2013 Line in the Sand. Come and take a San Antonio event. Everyone line up over here for the walk. Now, I do have to remind you that this is not a permitted parade walk. They will not be closing the roads for us. Well, that's it for tonight's show, but you too can take a stand by becoming a member of Prison Planet TV. We definitely need your support here as the emerging authentic media. Your subscription to Prison Planet will give you access to all of those Alamo speeches as well as the rally there, any of Alex Jones's speeches, the special reports, the movies, the rants, 
all of our eBooks, and you can use your username and password to share this message of truth with up to 10 other people. That's 11 of you that can be signed on at one time. So share this transmission today and become a member of Prison Planet TV. Thanks for watching. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.